Hi, it's me, Tony. I recently just saw The Little Mermaid, the live action one on Netflix. I don't know if it came out in theater or not, but I saw it on Netflix. And I'm kind of at a loss for words. The commercial made it look like, ooh, that seems interesting to watch. But at the same time, I watched the whole thing. But I wasn't enjoying myself throughout it. It's not The Little Mermaid's story exactly. It's kind of confusing a little bit. I can't even find something good to say about it, actually. Okay, so let's just let's just go through some stuff. First of all, the story is about a mermaid who is in a circus and a man who has a niece who goes to the circus to get the healing water from the mermaid. That's the gist. The mermaid is being held captive because the wizard who is in charge has her soul and she can't leave without it. He's in charge of her or whatever. <sighs> Let's talk about the wizard. The wizard is supposed to be Ursula if you compare it to the animation. The movie is trying to force you to hate him, but you are given no reason to. So he's just acting all high and mighty-ish to make it where you do hate him, but there's like no reason to. Like he hasn't given you anything to hate. Like he's hardly mean. He doesn't have a lot of lines. He doesn't have a lot of screen time. They don't do a very good job of him being a villain. The only time you see him actually being a villain is at the end of the movie and even then, it's still very short and unrealistic. And actually, it doesn't even seem like he's that good of an actor. It kind of seemed like he was forcing himself to be mean, like he was he's never a mean person. He just has a serious face on all the time. Let's move away from him for a sec and move on to what it looks like. This is the only good thing I can tell you about the movie is that it's aesthetically pleasing most of the time. They did pretty well cinematography, especially underwater and everything, but there are some things that you can totally tell are green screened. When they're driving through the forest, it looks so fake. Oh my god, I couldn't. I can't even tell you how fake it looks. Like, it looks like you can knock the green screen over. It's... The two main characters, three I guess, the mermaid kind of, but the man and the niece are pretty good actors, actresses, whatever. They're pretty good when it comes to acting. I can see the relationship bond between them, but it doesn't matter if you can feel like you can just take yourself out of the movie because of how green screened it looked. Which kind of doesn't make sense because there are some parts where they're actually in a forest. Like why couldn't they, I don't know, it's just, it's such a struggle to put all this together and have it like that. The script, not that great. Everything was moving so fast, you didn't quite understand how this came about in such a short amount of time. There was this one character who was like, stay away from her. And then like 30 minutes later, later in the film, she was like, I know where she is, trust me. And then you trust her throughout the whole thing, but what was the point of saying, stay away from her? Like, they didn't need her to say that at all. Like. <laughs> It didn't make any sense because he was already walking out and the wizard already told him to leave. 
So that was, there was no point in even saying that. The fighting scene. The fighting scene looks so fake. You could tell that whoosh, this and this and this was staged and it looked so bad. You may feel like I'm being like too hard of a critic if you haven't seen it, but try to watch it. I only finished it because I wanted to see how it ended and like what they did to how bad it, I don't, I finished it but it wasn't good. The beginning of the movie was the best part of the movie um, when no mermaids were actually in it. And then when they started getting through the magic and through the chasing and everything like that, then it all started going downhill. I think they could have fixed it. I think they could have made it better. If the script was tweaked, just like in little parts, things were taken out in editing and if they had a better effects team or they just took out all the magic-y stuff in general because they had like, you know, where they shoot stuff at you and it was just hard to put into words. It could have been good. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. It could have been good. I have nothing else to say about it really. Just that I wouldn't watch it again. And I wouldn't tell someone to watch it. But watching it is up to you. And so if you do watch it or if you have watched it, let me know what you think. Because... As a film major, it needed a lot of work. If you like this video, you can go ahead and do that. If you want to see more videos like this, you can subscribe to my channel, but I'm not going to force you because I'm a Hufflepuff. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Both of those links are in the description. And I think that's it. Okay, bye.